Today I'll be showing you how to solve a score one, as requested by YJ. The first step is cube shape, and the most basic method to solve it is by setting up to this case called 8 star. I'll be showing how to set up to this case later, but first let's begin with how to solve this. So you can think of it as an intuitive solution rather than an algorithm. Essentially you want to hold this like so, so that you're splitting up through the middle. When you do a slice you'll get scallop scallop, and so you want to slice that halfway as well. And then from here you can do a negative one, negative two. Essentially you're holding this one horizontally and slicing through the middle, and then this one vertically. And then from there you'll get kite kite. It's quite easy to set up to that case when you have even number of edge groups, such as this case. You have four, two, and two. So you can just combine this and then set up to eight star. And likewise with something like this, because you have four groups of two, you can just combine two two more, and then set up to eight. A common case you might be running into is this one with seven and one. And this basically happens when you don't have even groups. And so here's how to solve this case. Basically you want to leave a scallop on the top and take down what's called a paw, which is comprised of two and then this L. So if you disconnect those and move the L up, to the scallop, then you have five, one, and then this pair. From here, you can attach the scallop to these two, so now you have six, and then lastly you can move these six up to this line, and now you have all eight. So these kinds of cases are the most common, where you're not going to have even numbers or you'll have an L, and so what you can do here is maybe just try pairing them up like this, moving up and then realizing you have this case, so then from there you can solve it the way I showed by setting it up to this case. The next step is CO, which stands for corner orientation. You want to solve four black corners onto the top face, and I'll be showing pretty much all of them since they're quite short. Here's one of them, you have three, one. You can move this up to make a line, and then you have these two, you can combine them and ignore the edges, it's mainly just for the corners. I guess I should have showed this first, but just when you have these two and these two, you can just pair them up. The same thing works for the opposite case where you have three blacks on bottom, so then you can make two lines and then move all of them up. For diagonal corners, you can just move one of them up here, and then you'll have two lines. For two adjacents and two diagonals, you can basically pair these up by hiding this one and then solving these two. And the same works for the mirror. You can move this one here and then you can move this line up. The next step is EO, which stands for edge orientation. We'll be solving the remaining black pieces and there's only one algorithm you need to know and it goes like this. So you hold one edge up here and one here. What you do is slice you slice and then you want to move this block up here by doing a negative two one doing one slice and then you're left with a co case except you just need to be aware to preserve the blocks one more time the algorithm in its entirety and another easy case that i should mention is this one it's called m2 and it just does an M2 as it would on a three by three, except the algorithm is slightly different since you can actually do an M2 on a square one due to the mechanism. What you can do is a one, misalign the layers, and then another slice, and that's it. So this can be helpful for something like this, where if you don't know the alg and you just want to solve it, you can do an M2 here, and it will turn into a case you know. All right, let's talk about parity. So this is an algorithm that can occur in roughly 50% of your solves, and the standard algorithm is quite long, but I don't recommend you learn it. Here's another algorithm that you can learn instead. So let me show the original. Here you'll note that you have parity. On the bottom, you have a PLO that you could see on a three by three, this is an H perm. But then on the top, you don't actually have that. You have a parity case where only two corners have to switch. So that's how you know if you have parity. To get rid of parity, what you can do is set up to scallop scallop. So here's how you do that. You can do a slice 
and then two moves in the same direction, so like clockwise on both, and then you want to do another one where you're combining the blocks, so a one on top and then a two on bottom, and that will give you scallop scallop. You can think about this intuitively because after you do this, you're just pairing these up. From here, you want to do a two on one layer and then a four on the other. So now they're, the scallops are both on the left half of the cube so that this is free to slice. So after that, if you do another slice, that actually gets rid of parity. So from here, you can solve it like you would normally. So you move these to the front, split them in half, and then you have what's called barrel barrel. You do another slice and then kite kite and no parity. Next is CP, this, this stands for corner permutation, and you'll basically be solving the corners so that you will see headlights all around. So I recognize two sets of headlights here, so I'll put them in the back, and this is the L, it's called JJ. It goes like this. And it's pretty fast and easy to remember, and it can be used to solve all the CPs. So I'll give an example of how it can be used to solve some other ones. So here's a single J perm. You have the bottom layer corner solved, but then the top, these two have to switch. So what you can do is hold this on either side, do JJ, and you'll notice that you'll still have headlights here, but you can move them to the back and you're left with JJ. You can also solve diagonal layers with the same principle. So if you have something like this, you can use the same concepts. You want to put this on the side, do JJ, it doesn't matter how you hold the diagonal layer because they're all the same. JJ, and you'll see you have headlights and headlights. So you can move them to the back and do another JJ. Lastly, we have EP, and there's only one algorithm you need to know for this, and from a beginner perspective, all you really have to do is just spam the alg and know when to use it. So I'll show a couple of applications of that. The yeah, alg goes like this, slice, u, and then here you want to do an m2, as I showed earlier, goes like that, and then you just want to solve co. So it's a very intuitive alg and it has many applications. Another important case that you should probably learn is op op. So this is quite easy in principle because all you're doing is an m2, u2, and then another m2. So this can be used for a lot of cases as well. For example, here we have UU. So you'll notice you have these opposites. So even if the rest doesn't align properly, that's okay. You can start off with adj adj, sorry, with op op. And then you'll realize you have adj adj. If you have something like this, this is UZ. What you can do is an adj adj here, which would solve this and leave you with an adj here. And also this common principle for dealing with a U perm or a W perm, which I'll show in a second, but you have an opposite. If you're to do an edge here, you'd be left with an opposite, which you don't want. Instead, you want to do the edge on this. So if you do the out, that will actually leave you with an adjacent adjacent. So then you can solve that. So one more time, I want to do an edge edge that preserves this side, but uses this opposite side along with an adjacent one. So I'm going to do adj adj right here. And then for the Z perm, I can just do it on this. And I do an adj adj, it leaves me with another adj adj. Now I'll show how you can use that to solve the worst no parity EP. Here's how you can do this. So again, you have these opposites, so you don't want to do the adj over here because that's going to leave you with an H perm. Instead, you can do the adj adj either here incorporating one of the opposites or right here incorporating the other. So let's just do it from here. And this is an O perm. It's symmetrical. You can't really do anything with that. So it doesn't matter how you hold it. If you do an adj adj, you'll notice you have U U. So you have these two sides solved. You have this opposite and then this opposite. So you actually want to do an adj adj on this and this. So again, that incorporates these opposite colors so that when you do that, you're left with an adj adj. So you can use a mix of adj adj and op op to solve every EP in, 
I believe three outs or less. I doubt there's anything that requires more, as long as you count for parity before CP. And lastly, if you have to flip the bar, then you can just do slice, six, slice, six, slice, and that's it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.